Hello and thank you for joining me for another Patrick Michael tutorial. We are continuing our series on no code automation. Um, and in this particular tutorial, we are going to look at analyzing the contents of an email attachment. So what we are going to attempt is we are going to intercept an email um, using using Zapier and the trigger is intercepting a, a email with an attachment which is either in Word or Excel. We want to then extract the contents of the attachment and use that content in a conversation with ChatGPT and we want to automate this entire process. Um, so what you need is a Google Drive and Gmail you can also use Outlook 365, but for this tutorial, we're going to be using a, a, a Google work, Workstation, um, Workplace, sorry. We need a Zapier account pro because there's, this is multi-step and we're using Premier Zaps. You also need an open AI API, API access with credit. And as an additional little task, we are going to add a task to monday.com. So you do need an account with monday.com and uh, the free free trial version is fine. Um, so what we have already covered in previous videos is setting up your Zapier account and creating a new Zap, how to do that. Um, the links will be in the description below and how to set, an, set up an open AI account and create an API key. Um, for this, obviously, we also need a monday.com Account, but setting up the app is very, very easy. So the Zap flow um, overview, we um, has, have the trigger of a new email matching search in Gmail, find the attachment and upload that to a, a new file in Google Drive. We then find the file in Google Drive and using text from file by Zapier, we convert um, the document to text um, and we'll look at all this in detail. We then use that in the conversation with GPT um, and we run JavaScript to convert or to put the output from the conversation into variables that we can then use down the line. Um, and we end off with creating a draft email and we put some of that information into the draft email and we create an item in monday.com. So let's uh, just look at quick tutorial around uh, let's look at a quick demo sorry about this around this so here is the um, document that we are going to send as an attachment um, it's a word document with a table and um, and as you can see it's quite complex um, and Okay, we're using, that's the date for the request on date. Um, so we'll just, you just keep it so that we can see, you know, that that is, you know, we'll, you will see that data coming through on the flow. So that's the document. So let's just do a quick test. Okay, so here's the email we're sending. I'm sending it to this email account and we're going to attach um we're going to attach that document to the email um, and we're going to send it. Okay, so there's the email that has been sent. It should have triggered. It should have triggered this. Um, if we go look at Google Drive now. Um, so this is the folder that's, that's going to, that is going to be uploaded to and we can see that the permissions are set um, and there is the document so the document has been found and put up if we go to Monday let's just refresh this and there is the task so it's been added to Monday so the flow so it's working and it has it has done its bit so um, let's go across to the to the zap um, and here it is I'm not going to build it from scratch because we've done that in previous videos. I'm just going to um, edit the zap and look at each step. So, new email, and it's we're using the matching search option. New email matching search. The account 
has been set up um, and the trigger and what we're looking for and this is a controlled um, experiment or situations or test so we're looking for in in book inbox and in the subject we're looking for brief um, and there's the word brief in the subject so that's why it is finding it um, and if we test this step let's just find new records okay and that was the latest one that we've looked at let's just this is a test demo um, let's just see that we've got the attachments that's the uh, okay there it is the YouTube test brief so there's so that is the the part the, the email has just been sent so we're going to continue with this one any day now please continue all right now we want to find that file or get that file from the email and we want to upload it to Google Drive and the reason for this is um, so just quickly that's my drive there's the folder we're uploading to and the permissions have been set um, and the this is the from the previous step okay so there it is attachment to the file exists but not shown so that's what we want in this case um, and now this is an important step you need to convert it to a Google Doc um, if if you do if this step is set to false and and you don't co convert it and it's kept in as a as a word doc then i haven't found a way under that scenario to pass the content or, or get the content out of the doc um, and send it to gpt um so okay and and so we just we we are we're giving the file name again we're pulling the um the, the file name from the previous step and we're not giving an extension because it's a Google Doc. All right, so that's we continue now. Um, and if we retest the step and data out, um, the file would have been uploaded now. I mean, we've already seen that it's here. But okay, it's uploaded it again. So there are two copies here. Um, so that was the latest one. I'm just going to move this into the archive so that it doesn't mess up our test. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's it's been created from that step. So we continue. Now we want to find that file um, that we've just uploaded. And the reason for that is the reason why we change it to a Google Doc is apparent in this step um, because if we just had to send um, a link to the file to convert to chat GPT here in this in this in this step then the error cannot um, it cannot open external files is shown here so we, we actually need to get the contents of the file in text format um, and send that in the conversation. That's why this step is in, important and we're using text from file as the event, um, the, the action. And this is where it's important because when we converted the file to a Google Doc, it actually creates a number of, of file versions. Um, and we can see them here okay so there it's got a, a docx a, a epub html odt rtf and zip so it's it's creating it's creating all sorts of versions of the file um and the one that we want to use is the text version there it is file text so i'm not sure why, why i missed it but there's file text um and so and so we need it we need a text file because this text from files only works with text files so we can't use ODT we could also use HTML but it gets a bit messy so we're just using that that um, and if we test so here you can see 
it's converted this into a text format. So you can see here some of the fields. Here you can see the fields have been um, put into this format. So it's not really useful, but at least we now have it in text. Um, and if we continue, um, and then we go to the conversation, now we have, um, having a conversation with ChatGPT. The account is already set up. As I said, that's been done in a previous. And the action is we're using the text file from that step as, as part of the user message, part of the conversation. We're just using 3.5 Turbo. All this we can stay, keep the same. Um, and, and this is the prompt. Um, um, so the role here we're assigning is not, it's not a human role, it's actually a programming role. And um, the role we're giving it is a specialist in parsing and analyzing, extracting text from documents. Um, so that's the role. And here the task is, we ask, we're saying that the input text represents fields, uh, fields, field value, and required attributes. So we're telling it what kind of data it is, um, and we're asking it to analyze it carefully, and then um, output that into clean JSON format and avoid prefixing with uh, markup and notation like that because we want it in clean and how we're giving it an example of what the JSON is and we're just giving it a note. So that's the prompt that we're using. And uh, we can continue and if we test the step, we go to data art, um, there's the input and here is the reply from the GPT. And as you can see, um, it's put all the fields and values into a JSON format. We can now then use this. Um, so if we continue, and we then use a JavaScript step um, to put each of those um, those objects in JSON into a variable. Um, and we use the reply, so from the conversation as the input. And if we test this, as you can see now, it's put it into a variable um, that is now available to us to process on a few, on a, on a, on a, on a, on, a, on, on further downline, further downstream I think is the correct way um, so we're just going to wrap this up by creating a dra uh, draft email uh, the account has been set up and here are the action um, you know these these are pretty self-explanatory um, and here um, we are so any sort of dynamic data so date requested we're just putting this into the email body um, and we're getting this from the JavaScript step. So here you can see in the JavaScript, JavaScript step all the different um, values that, that were in the, in the form. If we continue um, and we retest this, it will send another draft email, which we know it works because it, we've seen one already. Um, so if we go to our drafts and 525, yes, so there is the test email and there we've got the attachment. We will see it is the document that we sent it. Okay, so um, and then the final one is just creating a uh, task in monday.com using the um, using some of the dates from the from the um, from the document and monday.com account set up and you just log in and it's we're putting um, data from the JavaScript into a task on the board um, and we saw that over here so if we open that new brief submitted um, and you know the, or any of this information we can um, whatever we put in the task is you know we can be quite creative using um, using information 
from the sheet. So, yeah, so that wraps it up from me in terms of another tutorial. Um, you know, this is this is a real use case in the sense uh, that we, you know, there has real world application for this tutorial. So, if you like this, please subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Ciao.